All right, we are back for part two of our birch tree painting. I'm gonna stick with my flat brush, but if your trees are pretty skinny, you may want to move to your round brush. I'm gonna stick with my flat brush and I'm gonna paint my trees in white. Now it's okay if I get a little bit of purple or blue mixed in, it's not gonna hurt anything in the long run. I'm just gonna paint my trees in white. These are gonna just look like five random white lines on your paper until I show you the magic. All those five white lines. Make sure those paint lines are nice and smooth. You don't have to worry too much about the base because we are going to be adding some grass in there. See, I like it when a little bit, a little bit of that purple and white mixes in. All right, so now I've got my five white lines. Without wiping off my brush, I'm gonna add just a little bit of black, just a couple different spots on my tree. So two, maybe three dots. I'm gonna wipe my brush off, and then with white paint, I'm gonna take that white again, and I'm just gonna run it through. So I wiped my brush off. Clearly not enough, let's wipe that off a little bit more. I'm gonna just pull those black dots, and these are incredibly small black dots. Don't go black dot crazy, okay? That black dot was too big, so to fix that, I'm just gonna take some white paint and slap it on top. See, no big deal. My last one. Perfect. So now that I've got my four white trees, I have just a little bit of gray in them. I'm going over with one more round of white paint just to smooth out my lines. And then we're gonna work on some branches. Now birch trees are generally pretty tall and their branches are pretty high up. So to do this, I'm going to get rid of my flat brush and I'm going to grab my round brush. I'm going to take my white paint and I'm going to add in just a few branches. So the branches can be in the shape of a Y like this, or they can just be attached to the tree. Again, don't worry too much if you get a little bit of purple mixed in. So you're just gonna add some of your branches on here. You can even add a, oop, that was a lot of paint, calm down. I like to call these chicken feet. When I accidentally make all three of these end in the same area, it looks weird to me. So I have to take one and extend it. I'm just going through and adding just a few branches on these. I want to be able to add some leaves. So in order to have leaves, I really need to have a couple branches. One way I like to make my branches is I like to go at the edge of the branch after I've got some laid down on here Start there, pull it down, and pull it all the way into the tree. And I notice that if I make that line that goes all the way into the tree, it looks like it connects. That brush stroke helps make it look as though it and the tree are one because they're connecting. And again, I do not mind at all pulling a little bit of that purple and blue into my tree because in this forest, it is all about those nice, cool colors, purples and blues.
Oh, look, I forgot this guy right here. He's got no little limbs. I got to give him a couple limbs. One more branch right here and right here. I'm gonna say that my birch trees are now ready to rest a minute. So I'm just gonna leave these guys alone for a minute. I'm gonna work on the ground. In order to make my ground, I want to add a bunch of different shades of purple. So I'm gonna take my white paint and my purple paint and I'm gonna mix three or four different colors of purple. When you add white to a color, it's called a tint. So we're going to tint the color purple a little bit lighter. So I'm going to take my purple and some white. When I grab my white to mix in, I like to grab from the edge. That way I don't contaminate the whole spot. And I'm just going to find an open spot on here and fill it on in. I'm going to make two or three different colors of purple. One might be really, really, really light. One I might add a little bit of blue to, to make it more of a periwinkle purple. Just a couple different colors of purple. couple different colors of purple, I am going to add a stamping effect on the ground. I want it to look like there is some grass. So with my purple and with my round brush, I'm going to just simply lay my brush down. And I'm going to do this in different spots all over the canvas, trying really hard not to allow them to be um, orderly. I'm not looking for orderly stamps right now. I don't want them to be in nice straight lines. I don't want them to be grouped nice and neat. I just want to lay down a couple of these lines in my darkest purple. This is my purple straight out of the tube. And then I'm going to wipe my brush off just a little bit. I'm going to do my purplish blue color I made. blue color, laid some of those colors on there. And then I'm going to do my lightest purple. What you should be seeing, if you're working quickly, is that your colors are going to start blending. You've got this great purple background, but now you're getting these really nice colors of purple on the front too. Make sure you're hitting up the bottom of those trees because you do want to cover that bottom of those trees up. You don't want those to be showing. this really nice stamped textured ground to here. I'm going all the way up to my black line. Now with the same paintbrush, I'm going to take my regular color purple and I'm going to add a couple sprigs of lines right at the bases of my trees, maybe a couple randomly in the background area. They can have three, four, five, six little lines on them. But to do this, you want to go fast. You want to have a dot, you just want to pull up and let go. Pull up and let go. Don't think about it too hard. Pull up and let go. And 
All right, now that I've got my base finished, we are gonna take a break and let our trees dry a bit. Make sure you have your piece of cardboard ready for the next step.